Hey guys and welcome to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process. We are here with the wedding photo album After Effects and Plate version 2. Version 1 was built in April of 2011, was a bit outdated so uh, I decided to make a, a whole revamp of the template and giving you version 2 now. Um, two years later, we are now in April 2013. So. Here we go. So we're going to start with, we already have the project open and you will see that you have a folder named placeholders and we will start by opening it and inside we'll see a set of uh, folders, one for filters that we'll talk later on, colorization, uh, the floor photos and text. These will be the ones that we will be using for the basic customization any further uh, or more complex customization um, you may throw me a line and I will be happy to um, to help you to do what um, what you're trying to achieve okay so let's start with the photos open up the the folder name photos and you will find another three subfolders and first of all we are going to start with the pictures and let's replace by right clicking replace footage file and select i'm going to use the photos that i used on the preview video so i'm going to open photo 00, zero and instantly it's going to appear in the cover and we'll do the same with all the others of course i'm not going to replace um, all the footages here it would be a waste of your time and to be honest, really boring to watch me replace all uh, the placeholders. Not that it would take too long, but um, uh, as this is a repeating process, all we need to know is just how to replace one and all the others are uh, the same. So let's replace just a few of them. right click replace footage file let's select our file and replace footage file number seven let's scroll through our animation and as you can see now we already have a few placeholders replaced let's do three more number eight Okay, so we now have um, two full pages of placeholders replaced, plus uh, the one in a cover. So 11 placeholders, uh, sorry, not 11, 10, yes, 11, uh, zero, 00 for the cover, and then 10 uh, placeholders for the first two pages. Okay, one more thing that I would like to point out is um, the adjustments of the photo of the photo sorry and to do so i'm going to bring uh, a photo inside that doesn't belong to the project it's just a high resolution photo um, i'm going to leave it here or i'm going to create a new folder example photo here just to show you in a few minutes or in a few seconds um, one of the adjustments uh, so after you you replace the photos inside the pictures folder we go to the comps and in here once we open it we will see the picture placeholder uh, in this case the, the placeholder will fit perfectly but you can increase or decrease uh, the picture depending on your um, resolution, uh, on your photo resolution. And for that, I imported one new uh, picture, which I'm gonna use here. And as you can see, the resolution is much higher, which probably is gonna happen with your picture. So once uh, you have that, just press S for scale and 
drag it down until uh, you think it's suitable. So let's leave it like this. And if you go to your project, you'll see now um, the picture, the new picture that we brought in. Um, so we're going to delete it. No longer usable. Just to show you that uh, you can use uh, higher resolution or smaller resolution pictures. And to do so, just go to your comps folder, open up the one that you want to adjust. Probably you want to adjust all of them because your pictures, as I said before, might be in um, higher resolution. Once you do that, um, you will be ready to go uh, regarding the pictures. There's one more folder here, which is named the pre-comps. And if we open one, you will see um, an effect applied to the picture itself and to the border of the picture, which you may want to uh, disable this old look or disable the frame completely. Uh, just to show us a difference, we're going to change this one here by removing the frame and the old look. Oh, not this one, sorry, photo zero one. We were on zero zero. So if we disable it, you will see now that it doesn't have any more the the look of uh, well this whole look here um, you can leave it as a new look or more clean look so this will depending on your on your choice and the look that you want to give to uh, to the project okay so regarding photos this is it we can now go to the filters and the filters I've made uh, three kind of filters. I'm going to bring a photo here just to show you and I'm going to put it down. You don't need to do this. Uh, all you need to do is enable one of these three filters if you want to. Uh, if you enable sepia, the color of the photo will become limitation of sepia, I'm going to disable the photo now and if I go back to my project you will see that you have a, an older look to your uh, to your photos. If you enable vintage you'll see that the look will get this vintage look and there's one more filter which is black and white Okay, so it's just a matter of enabled them so black and white I'm going to disable the picture again and you will have all your photos in uh, black and white so this might come useful <coughs> for any of your projects and by default is disabled I'm going to delete this picture by default is disabled but once you enable any of these filters uh, you will get all your photo album um, with the um, with the look that you that you prefer you can of course uh, create any other filter inside of this uh, composition here and enable it and it will be uh, available for uh, for all your photos so let's close <coughs> sorry Let's close this one here and let's close the filters. We're going to leave it um, colorized as default, the original color of the pictures. And now we go to the colorization folder and page color. Let me close this too, just to keep it clean. Page color as default is a white solid, which I select and go to layers, solid settings. And if you check, it's not exactly pure white uh, because in reality even if we are watching 
pure white in real life our eyes will not see it as white as in here so I wanted to give that effect and pull it a little bit to the uh, to the grayish side but just to show you how easy it is to uh, replace the color let's say you want a yellowish look so once you select the color and go back to your project you'll see now that you have uh, all your pages in in yellow well yellowish so just layer solid settings uh, choose a crazy color here <laughs> green okay okay and there we go we have a green album now okay don't really like it but um, it's a choice we're gonna undo and let's try maybe solid settings let's try black So now we have a black album. Doesn't look bad. The only problem here, well, which is not a problem, uh, would be the fonts. We cannot see the, the sentences now, uh, but you can change that afterwards. Um, so I'm gonna undo that and let's play with the yellowish again, just as an example okay okay and now we're gonna change the cover and back cover color so open the composition in cover plus back cover and layer solid settings let's select yellowish again but more to the brown side and okay if we go back we will now have a cover of a different color which will match um, your new color of, um, of your overall album okay and I'm gonna reverse this undo and undo so we have our original colors and so once you are happy with the colors uh, you may close this folder and go to the floor folder which will be our uh, background color we have a very subtle uh, texture and if you open the floor composition and go to the effects control panel you'll see that you have um, a colorization applied which you can of course remove and if you go back to your project it will be uh, just a texture or you may uh, want to change the colorization to any other uh, to any other color so you get a very subtle color here which you can increase by going to the color saturation and if you do so you will get a darker uh, darker look but once again this will depend on the, the needs of your uh, project and of course it's a customizable option so once you do that you may close the, f the floor uh, folder and move on with the text so first of all we will have our album title just double click on it and if you check the effects you have a glow effect that you may want to disable if you want to keep it simpler I really like this effect so I'm gonna leave it on and you can double click and my new title here the link for this font is available inside the project folder so it's just a matter of downloading it or use any other font that you prefer so here we go and then we have the intro message which it will be this one here 
at the moment it's just the date uh, but double click and my new intro if we close it there we go and then the ending message will be our last uh, message which is just a matter of um, double click and oh sorry ending message double click on the on the layer text layer and my new final my new final message and if you go back to your main composition uh, you will check that um, it's changed and we can close these and then we have the text for the pages itself page number one if you open up you will see that page number one text composition just double click and just double click on which layer you want to edit and let's say page one title subtitle one very original <laughs> subtitle. It's just for customization purposes, so uh, keep it simple. <laughs> so page one title, subtitle, and subtitle one. Uh, you may want to leave uh, the font overlaying a bit of the photo, or you may change uh, the text. We can bring it. I'm going to use the arrow key to bring a little bit up. And of course, you can play around with the font size. I'm gonna bring it a little bit up. Uh, and decrease it a little bit more. So this will depend the look that you want to give. Okay, so at this point, it's not touching the photo. Uh, but when it touches the photo, it gives, it gives a nice, uh, in my opinion, of course, this is all customizable, but uh, it gives a nice look. I even left for the page one on the preview, uh, as you can see, the wedding G um, around here. So for all of the pages, you will find a separated folder where you can change uh, the text. So you will have the title, which will be this one here, and then page text 1, text 2, text 3 and text 4 and so on. So you will have 14 pages to work around with your text and of course um, you may create uh, any other text. Let's see the page 1 example. If I duplicate the subtitle 1 and drag it to the middle let's say middle text and if we go to our main composition you will now have a middle text or you might want to create a sentence that uh, will match all this space here uh, the same with above <coughs> you may divide it in two uh, for example page one title let's bring it somewhere around here and let's duplicate it holding shift I'm gonna drag it so I have the same exact position and let's say page one title two and in here title one so if we go to our uh, main composition we'll see now two main titles and three subtitles uh, but this of course can be arranged any way you want uh, so it's just a matter of um, imagining what you want in here I would just bring it a little bit to the right so it's more centered with with this photo over here this one looks alright um, as I was saying it's just a matter of uh, placing the text in the place that you want and customize it 
uh, according to the um, to the photos and to your uh, to your needs. So we're not going to change any any other text because the process will be the same. You have um, totally freedom to customize in the way that you want. There are pages like this that only has one placeholder, but you can play around with that as we did for the previous page. And regarding text, um, that's it. So let's close it here. And for the basic customization, uh, we are set. I'm going to delete this example here. And let's close this one, page one text. So regarding, as I was saying, regarding the basic customization, this is it. Just uh, repeat the process of um, changing photos and texts, um, colorization of pages and background. For more complex customization, you will find a folder here. I'm going to close the placeholders. Named precomps and another one named book. You may open it up where you will see all the arrangement for the pages. Let's open one of them, page one. And for example, you may want to disable the corners, the photo corners. Uh, it will be simply as that, disabling them and, or replacing by your own item. Um, or you may want to arrange the photos in a different way. I'm not going to delete it, but I'm going to, let's try, disable all of them. Just leave the page color and the text and let's say bring the photo somewhere around the center and just an example and I'm gonna scale it up like this and then I'm gonna bring my corners I'm not gonna adjust them to this size I'm gonna leave it on the original size I'm doing it by eye you can take a bit longer to get them really well adjusted of course this is just in an option you can work around and have a different so now if we turn on the titles they will not match so we would have to create uh, titles that uh, match this uh, this look but if we go to our album we will see now that uh, we have a different look for our first page and the arrangement of the photos let's go back to our page one you can play around I'm going to disable all of them you can play around with uh, with them let's say photo three four and five let's say that for example This one over here, and this one over here, and this one over here. Uh, so uh, once again, I'm I'm just doing uh, as I uh, as I see now. But uh, to make this the correct way, I would bring a a line here just to make things uh, really neat but if we go back to our composition once again so we have another uh, another look another different look that um, that you could customize let's bring it to the center and probably I would want to make a title here a title here maybe a title somewhere around here or three small titles uh, to give a more personalized look uh, so you don't have to be uh, 
limited to what I've built, but you also have the option of uh, moving around things. And what we did for the page number one, you may want to do for all the pages you can play around with the uh, bring, I don't know, bring this two down and put the title up or rearrange the photos in, um, in the order that, um, that you find most suitable for your project. And I totally understand if you want to get a more personalized uh, uh, photos, that's why I, I leave this option open and um, I give this brief explanation on how to uh, to achieve it. Of course, if you need any help, um, drop me a line and I will uh, explain you anything that um, that is in my hands to uh, to help you customize it. Okay, so let's close this and this, and let's just see. We covered the filters. Let's go. Uh, the filters, the colorization of the book and the colorization of the floor. We did the photos, replace them, adjust them and the text. And finally we talked uh, a little bit about the personalization of the project. And this is it. We are with 26 minutes and a half. Not bad for this uh, <laughs> for this customization tutorial. Uh, if you already purchased the template, I hope you enjoyed this new version. Uh, if you didn't, and if you are um, a new user of my uh, project, I hope you enjoy it anyway. And of course, I still have uh, the previous version uh, available with me. It will not be available anymore as a download, but um, if you want to use it by some reason, please drop me a line and I'll be happy to upload it and make it uh, available to you. Okay, so once again, my name is Roberto George. Uh, hope you liked the template and this tutorial. Any further questions, please drop me a line and I will do my best to help you. So bye bye and hope to hear from you. Thanks.